Hello everybody. This is going to be the first video of, I guess, six, because we bought this large collection of, like, trade paperbacks and art books and who knows actually what's in the boxes. But there's six different boxes and we haven't looked through it yet, which is why we have no idea what to tell you. Um, so we're going to let you go through it with us. Yep. And this is box one of six. Box one of six, basically our comic haul video, sort of. ABC Warriors. Hmm. ABC Warriors by 2000 AD. DC Comics. Oh. I was like, it kind of looks like an RPG book to me. Kind of. Yep. Okay. Yeah. I know nothing about that. Book Next. number two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Strontium Dog, The Early Cases, also another 2000 AD DC book, The Early Cases. Sure. Robo Hunter. Robo Hunter. Virtus. Uh, another 2000 AD DC book. So, Planet of the Droids. Okay. Rogue Trooper. The Rogue. future of war. It's also, like a whole universe. 2000 AD, DC. I have never heard of any of those, but... There they are. Slain. Warriors... Dawn. Another 2000 AD DC Now, first book. of all, if this guy is going up against our rogue trooper guy, he is in big trouble. <laughs> Celtic pride, though. Yeah, well, that's fine, but the other guy's got, like, a machine gun. Mm. Okay, so these are a little bit different size books here. These are a little smaller. On Vampire. the bus. Hunter, I'm gonna have to get closer so that... Oh, no. We can see Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Omnibus number two. Okay. What is that? There's the 30 Days of Night Omnibus Volume 2. That was a movie. <laughs> yeah, from IDW. I'm pretty sure it was a comic before it was a movie. But yes, yes it was. It was a movie. I know it's about vampires. Okay. Not sparkly ones. Thank goodness. Ooh, X-Men First Class. Finals. You think they're taking tests? It seems like they're taking tests. Main years, mankind's place on Earth was unchallenged. Okay. Looks like a kind of a throwback because there's Beast who's not even blue yet. And Arc, or not Archangel, sorry, Angel. New X-Men. Xavier on the cover. Yeah, Grant Morrison. That's the important thing. Yeah, Grant Morrison. I like him. Yeah, he does. He does very good work. Okay. Oh, multiple oh. copies of that. Two copies of that one. Oh, oh no! All right, let's all go like, together. Hopefully, people like Buffy because I got another three omnibuses for. Buffy Volume 2, so that puts me up to four omnibuses. This is kind of cool. Like there. Uh -huh. Also. Oh, still falling apart. Okay. okay. That's all the same with books. Them. Little, oh my god, they're little storybooks, unfortunately, for the first Hulk movie, which I think most people are trying to forget. The Beast Within. Yeah, okay, so thankfully in the world this doesn't exist, but it looks like it's got like little, you know, from the actual movie, so like a little movie storybook. Got a bunch of those. Oh, this is going to be cool for our nephew. It's a oh. junior novel. Junior novel, Hulk. The motion picture looks like from the same bad Hulk movie, though. It's okay, so, he doesn't little, know better. 
He's actually, he saw this one, you know, it's a little junior reader. He'll, this one, I won't be selling. Most of these are going to go on my eBay store, but that one will probably go to my nephew. Then we got The Art of Nick Cardi, which is a hardcover book, which has a slipcover, and it looks like... Huh. I don't know who that is. I don't either. He's the, oh, oh, Teen Titans, so... Oh, uh, 20 cents. 25 cents there. Old Titan books. Older vintage <laughs> books there. Oh, it says he did Tarnit, or sorry, Tarzan, Batman, and Superman, lots of different stuff. Hardcover art book. The Great Treasury of Christmas Comic Book Stories. Oh. oh. Okay, apparently. Bunk. It's how heavy it a is. Good year. A little Christmas book by Yo Books. It's like, oh, cool. A lot of like vintage Christmas stories. Huh. It's kind of cool. All right, we got a animation now book with Shrek. It's kind of gigantic. Tons of people. It's like oh, there's Studio Ghibli. A lot of good artwork. Huh? DreamWorks. So these different information about different animation companies. Huge book. This little book. Stuff of Legends. That art style looks like it'd be quite appealing yeah. for me. Book one, The Dark. So, let's see what it looks like inside. Yeah. Oh my god, I love that. Definitely our kind of art. Is this Hellboy 2? The oh. art of the movie. He's got a he's, pop vinyl coming out soon. Well, he's got multiple pop vinyls, but I think I think he's got a remake coming. Does he? I think so. Anyway, this is Hellboy 2, art of the movie. I like that guy. <laughs> yeah, so it looks like a Dark Horse book. It's a little, kind of almost looks a little water damaged. It's seen some moisture, but it's got a lot of really good That's all really cool. artwork in it. I'll have to look at that more. All right, then we got a the Punisher Intruder graphic novel. Is that what it said? Yeah, Marvel graphic novel. It's a hardcover book, and it looks like it's actually sealed, so I can't open it. That it's ripped a little, but so there's that one. Ah, uh, more movie books. Indiana, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. I heard there might be a remake of this too, but shy. Not the Temple of Doom. Well, no, not the Temple. They can't Just remake more, it. More indie books. So this one looks a little old. It literally looks like a little movie book. Yeah, seen some better days. Yeah, short That's round on the, the back That's the movie though. that was on TV all the time. Yeah, when I was a kid, I must have seen the movie a hundred times. All right, graphic novel. Marvel. Graphic Marvel. Heart burst by Rick. Is it like Beatrice? chest bursting? I don't know. Does it have aliens in it? I don't know. No idea, actually. Okay. Then we got a Dark Horse book Rascals in Paradise. Huh. One of three. That sounds a little, uh. Oh, a little paint up art kind of book. Soft cover. Art inside looks really good. All right, we got a Wallace and Gromit, the Whip It Vanishes. I know these There's I quite think a are few, getting it looks like pretty popular again. Wallace like, and Gromit books here. I don't know much about them. I think they had a kind of clay animated from, movie. I think they're from Canada. I think it's a Canadian. Canadian thing. Uh -huh. I know this is a hardcover, Wallace and Gromit. Welcome to West Walbury Street. And that's my cat. Alright, here's a hardcover book of the softcover book we just had. 
the whip it vanishes, but this one's hardcover. Wallace and Gromit appear too far, hardcover. Wallace and Gromit, the Boo Tipple game. I do believe that's probably about soccer. Okay. Maybe. Looks like it. All right. Then we got a soft cover. Walt Disney's Donald Duck. Number two from Gladstone Comics. Huh. Full color. Huey Dewey and Louis from Donald Stores. <laughs> Super Dinosaur, deluxe coloring book. Oh my gosh, I just recently knew about Super Dinosaur. From Image. And let's see if it's been colored. It has not. Exciting. Captain America and the Avengers Lost in Time, also a coloring book. Reading color, and thankfully also not colored in. Complete Jack Ooh, Kirby. That's probably super relevant right now. Yes, everybody is into June, their Jack Kirby stuff right now. August 1947. 196 pages of art and story by the King of Comics, plus a biography and analysis of the work by Kirby Authority, Greg Deekson. Huh. That looks super amazing, actually. Inside, you're welcome. Um, oh, a lot of stories, a lot of different comics. Yeah. All right. Liberty Meadows. Yeah, there's only a, you know, handful. Getting there, a few left. Um, Summer of Love, Frank Cho, book three. This is a soft cover. Image Comics. Ooh, a gigantic hardcover book, all sealed up. Hundred years of newspaper comics. We've got, um, oh, at Calvin and Hobbes. Beetle Bailey, Dick Tracy, a whole bunch of others. 100 years of American newspaper comics, hardcover. All right, Peanut Treasury, oh, also hardcover. All sealed up, so we can't look inside right now. But again, we haven't even looked through any of this stuff, so. Batman Digital Justice. I don't know what it is, but I'm excited it exists. And kinda. Wow, I don't no idea what this is. So I'm gonna have Amber open this while we keep going, because that so awesome. we need to see inside. Oh. Insanely awesome mad deluxe edition. Super size for maximum dumbness. So hardcover. Again, that's my cat. I used to love Mad Magazines when I was a kid. Still pick them up occasionally when it's about something that I enjoy. Full color, hardcover book. All right, now we're back to the Batman Digital Justice. It's got a hardcover, it's got a slip cover. Story art by Pepe Moreno. It just looks amazing. I've never even heard or seen this, but amazing. Oh. Oh, and then another Mad book. This one is the Amazingly Stupid Mad Expanded Edition. Hardcover. Oh, yep, actually, oh, looks like we got two of those. This one's open. Open, so we can sort of see inside. Same as the other one, full color. Probably just recap some older issues. Ooh. More Mad. This one is a huge hardcover book. Horrifying mad, just for in time for Halloween. Zombies always want more brains. This one I'm gonna have to look at before I sell. That one looks amazing. No, you don't care, but I care about my horrorness. Ooh, this one looks very cool. Frank Miller, th ooh, 300, that in frame. Hardcover, it's like a long extended edition. It's all sealed up too. You know what the best thing about 300 is? 
No. Wonder Woman got a cover of it. Oh. The movie poster. So, Wonder Woman number 40 for oh. the new 52 DC. Right, yeah. Okay. Her cover is Wonder Woman, but it's the 300 movie poster. Okay, a couple more Mad Books. This one's a soft cover. Certifiably Mad. Couple more left. Star Trek book where no one has gone before a history and pictures. So the revised and updated version. A lot of really cool, interesting Star Trek looks like TV show and films. Soft Last cover. Last but not least, we actually there's two copies of this. Last but not least, an exciting Batman 3D, an all new graphic novel by John Bryan. With 3D effects and glasses for a new dimension of comics wow that's actually really cool all right well See? everyone oh oh we found there's a hidden book there's one more we lied there's one more book of hidden underneath everything bayou volume one by jeremy love a zuda book it's like a little full color just a little animated story Hmm. All right. Anyway, that, like Amber said, was our empty box. Oh, uh, yeah, the empty box that was in there. Um, basically, again, we bought a huge collection, six gigantic boxes like that, full of awesome this kind of stuff. Cool hard covers, soft covers, weird kind of random stuff. It's all going to be on our eBay store, which I'm going to put a link to in the comments. Um. Death. If uh, Death to the you guys have any questions or anyone's interested in any of the books, you I can feel free to comment. 3D effect. That was, yes, 3D. That, see, that's the kind of videos we're producing now for you. It's very, very dynamic. But anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see the rest of the collection especially. Um, again, me and Amber are always buying gigantic, gigantic collections of stuff. So of Random stuff. Random stuff. Um, kind of person I kind of buy and ask questions later so I get a lot of weird stuff sometimes I yeah. think we're in the process of buying 20 long boxes of total random awesomeness and then a whole bunch of long boxes of total random crap, crap. so crap. again please like and comment and please let us know if you'd like to see more comic haul videos like this and again if you want to buy any of them almost all of them are going to be for sale on our eBay store our username is Techno Hippie, and again, there'll be a link. So, thank you. Bye bye.